In the beginning, I had no words. I didn't vocalize like other infants. I didn't say mama or papa or make nonsense noises. I just remained silent. And that concerned my parents, and so they took me to a doctor who told them that they might have to get used to the idea that I was, as he put it, retarded, and that I would never be able to speak for the rest of my life. But when I turned three, I walked into the kitchen and spoke to my mother for the first time, using complete sentences. And, as it turned out, in that time I had somehow taught myself how to read, and words have not left me since. And I've been able to share my words with other people in stories and poems. Words are a comfort to me. And there are certain words that I keep with me in my office when I write that mean a great deal to me. And I'd like to share those words with you today. Laser etched on a block of wood is a quote that I read from Stephen King's book on writing. The quote is, talent is cheaper than table salt. What separates the talented individual from the successful one is a lot of hard work. I keep that quote in my office to remind me that, regardless of how talented a person can be, art has no real home inside someone's head. Until it's out in the world, it means nothing. Also, on a laser etched wood plaque in my office is a statement that I was encouraged to make in a book that I read that said that, like corporations, it's a good idea to come up with a vision statement. After spending a good deal of time thinking about that vision statement and what it should be, I came up with this. My mission is to seek knowledge and to learn more each day, to create meaningful and evocative art, and to share my knowledge and my art with the world. My purpose is to entertain, to edify, and to encourage others to create their own art that they might do the same. I see that plaque, and I read those words pretty much every day, and they remind me of why I create my art, whether it's my writing, whether I'm performing on stage, or even if it's these YouTube videos that I create for you. They all have a reason. Also hanging on my wall, is an appropriately coffin-shaped message board with the words Memento Mori, which is Latin for Remember You Will Die, and a quote by philosopher Marcus Aurelius. It is not death that man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. It's a quote that I take very much to heart. As a bonus, here's another quote that I don't have hanging in my office right now, but intend to rectify that situation soon. It's a quote by the magician Teller, from the famous Penn and Teller. I like this quote for two reasons. One, because it's a quote by someone who's famous for not talking. But it's also a very powerful statement that rings true for me in a lot of different ways. His quote is, Sometimes magic is just someone spending more time on something than anyone else might reasonably expect. How true that is. And finally, also laser engraved on a piece of wood that I have hanging on my whiteboard in my office is a Latin phrase. I came up with this phrase because I thought it would be cool to have a Latin slogan. And so I thought about it for a while and I came up with this, Artifex Solus Vere Liber, which in English translates to, only the artist is truly free. There are a lot of ways you can interpret that phrase and there is a particular way that I do. And in a future video, I will give my insight to what I think it means. But I thought, for this video, I would leave that to you. So, in the comments below, tell me what you think that phrase means. What does it mean to you? I have built my life with words. They have brought me a lot of joy and a lot of frustration. But words are who I am.